Yeah. And, and then you see that's what's happening in education. Mm -hmm. uh, just on a side note here with Waldorf education or mm -hmm. any kind of education, mm -hmm. what you're doing with the child, the child comes to the world with a sense of wholeness. Yes. Okay, and Steiner says you want to teach a children from the whole to the parts. Yes. So, because what we're doing is we're taking their life and we're breaking it up into grammar, mm -hmm. history, math. Mm -hmm. You see, we're breaking it all apart for them. Mm -hmm. And but then once they start to wake up in their in their lower creative centers and into their in their in their sexual centers. Yeah. We have to start bringing it back together for them. Yeah. And we have to start bringing teaching them out of a holistic mentality. Yeah. And and, and a, you know how to recycle. You know, what, what is the life cycle of, of an object that we create? We have to be able to start thinking in the future of things, like the seventh generation consciousness that the Native American Indians used. Yeah, yeah. You got to work in with all way. three. Yeah. And, and yeah. what's happening in our time is that people are, have, a, have a sense for the past and their experiences, and mm -hmm. they have a sense for being in present uh, in the moment, yes. to live in the moment. Yes. And yet there's very, uh, we're, the, the individuals who are, um, who have the capacity to, to think into the future is becoming less and less. Yeah. Because everything's being served up to us. Yeah. And Already made and, and you can't. You have to think about it. You exactly. just use it. Exactly. When uh, we, you know, if, if we make a budget for mm -hmm. a month, we're thinking ahead. Yes. And this is, and this is so, also really important. Like Albert Einstein said, the most important thing is not the intellect, it's our creativity, it's our yeah. imagination. Exactly. Because when we do something artistic, we're thinking into the future. We're thinking about what if and and how can i pull these together and what are they what's the yeah. relationship yeah we're yeah. we're thinking we're we're creating this and by the arts not being supported in our culture we're we're killing ourselves yeah there's no future because we're not thinking into the future so right. all the green technology and stuff these people are all saving our butts because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they have they, they still have the capacity to think, think into the future, in the future. Yeah. so this concept of, of living thinking that real mm -hmm. talked about mm -hmm. it's we already do it Mm -hmm. It's just like a theoric movement. Yeah. The uh, there's been a, a, a sort of a, we call it conspiracy or not. I don't know what it is, but you know, as we, I had spoken in, in this earlier um, talk here, mm -hmm. that um, there's been this uh, preoccupation in the anthroposophical society and within the Eurythmy circles to. Um, Talk about etheric movement is something that you, you have to learn. Yes, and that is outside of you. Yes, and it's outside of you, exactly. Yeah, you have to yeah, bring it in. Yeah. And yeah. It, well, it's the same thing that's happened with this, uh, this concept of living thinking. Mm -hmm. We already do it. We just have to figure out how, when we're doing it and then start doing it maybe a little bit more. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's our birthright again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, children are coming into the world and they're not, they're not, that's not being modeled. And, okay, so. So, we so have, we're back to the bone here. We're both little, 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 <laughs> little side jaunt there. Right. So we have head, rhythmic system, limb. Right. Okay, and then we come into here. So that, that threefoldness is then will be echoed here. Mm -hmm. We have more a head like nature. This is even rounded. Mm -hmm. This is roundedness. Mm -hmm. This is roundedness. And then it, it rhythmically moves out. And then, as you see again, it, it splays out yes. in like a limb like nature. Okay. Splaying out. Hold it still. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can see that. And you see it here, you know, because we know that this is echo down here. Yeah. You know, look at the head on that thing. Mm -hmm. That's a real big head. Yeah, it's of course, incredible. That's how they can, and that's how they can give you a, an, an artificial joint. Right. Oops. In other words, there's something wrong with the head. <laughs> so, let's go back to the arm. Okay. So, and then you get to this place. And now we've gone from the prime, because if you can look at your collarbone, it also, it, it's head like here, yes. and it splays out here. Yes, of course. So you've got this, this directional movement where the head's up here and it's playing out that direction. Yeah. And which has this relationship also here, you know. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting to the fourth. Mm hmm Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the end of the first tetrachord. Yeah. Where all these bones are all just chaotically organized. Look at that one wants to make a little head. Yeah, yeah. And then they're just, they're just all just like little nuts all just e each broken one up. Of them, each one of them has a different job. And they're all, it's all chaotic. Yeah. Formative it looks, wise. It looks chaotic. Yeah, it's very chaotic and it's down in here too, you know? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Okay. So, so now if you look at the next, which is now this, which is, you know, mm -hmm. the next the next tetrachord? Yeah. This is where the reversal happens. 
Because mm -hmm. now if you look at, at, at these bones, mm -hmm. you see now the head is on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. limb-like towards. Oh, yes, yes. And, and, the, and the splaying out. Is splaying there. out is down here. Wow. Okay. I've never noticed that. Well, yeah. yeah because we, we have to start. That. We, have to, we don't look at this because people are just Amazing. consuming what, what the teachers are giving them and yeah, they're not questioning it. Yeah, and they're not it. questioning and looking at it closely. Yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not, they're not doing the applied part of, of your me. Yeah, yeah. They're just yeah. believing it like like it's a religion. But it's intellect. Intellect yeah. likes that. Likes that. And so, and then you see, you know, the head's up here. Yeah. Opposite of where it is here. Yeah, exactly. This is where the reversal happens. Yeah, yeah. And then it's same here. It's more head-like. It's rounded off. It's limb-like. Yeah. And then until you pour, you get to the, you know, the head's at the end of your fingertips. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the reversal. Wow. So when people say that, you know, our heart is in our hand, yeah. it literally is. Yeah. Because that's where the reversal is happening in our, our skeletal structure. Yeah. And it's in, in our foot, in the in arch the of our too. foot. Yeah. That's where, that's where the, the sun forces, if you want to say, you know, that's associated with the, with the heart. Yeah. So this is how I found this relationship between Frank's work with his, the idea of the reversal, mm -hmm. you see, and, and also in the human skeleton. It's yeah. Brand, you can like, see it in brand, both. Brand new uh, discovery, I would say, in the, yeah. in the sense of bringing it together. Yeah. Yeah. We and could be that, teaching this. Well, that it has meaning. It has meaning, yes. Yeah, because then purpose. you because then you can when you do the fourth and when you do the fifth, you can. I mean, I can see it uh, a lot when I do the seven sided form. Yep. Uh, and the 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 seven pointed star, I should say. Mm -hmm. You know, where you have you go from from let's say the from head. the head to the to the to the, to the leg, yeah. and you go to the, the other system. you go to the other side to the to the wing, the wing. and then you go to the ar right arm. arm. But when you go from the right arm to the, the left arm, that's when I fi feel that reversal. Well, well, so now, so now the reversal has already been happening in your rhythm yeah. with regards to the, the scale. Yeah. You see, so you have yeah. C, D, E, right. F, uh -huh. C, D. Wait a second, let's do that so again. And, and also what's important to know is that all these, you know, Rudolf Standard gave uh, different degrees for these, these and they're all- And in, exact. And, and they're all exact, and they're all in multiples of nine. Yeah. So that's important to know. Multiple okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. So when you get out to F, you're uh -huh. at 90. Uh huh. You see, and that's where you know C, D, and I'm overlaying the tones while well, the intervals, but there's a, there's a close relationship here. So yeah. C, D, E, F, reversal, and literally you go out, out. and then Steiner says you turn it up. Yes. That's the reversal right there. Right there. Already right there. Yeah. Like like and then the rest are, of, of the, the the tones. Yeah. Like we did uh, in Chico. You weren't in Chico, I think. No. Nope. Um, in Chico, we did a reversal like we did at the opening here a little like bit. The high, uh, like, yes. you know, everybody facing grab, in and, yep. and, and then facing out. Yes. I mean, that's... And that's, what's interesting is that they grabbed hands, they grabbed ex hearts. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. And then yeah. They, they turned and Turn. then you had a reversal. Exactly. And then you can go back. Exactly. So these things are in all... That, that's in folk dancing. Yeah, exactly. So you, you, the, the, the we're folk, making it conscious. We're just making it conscious. We're not, we're not... In a sense, we're not even creating a new art form. No, no. So you, in a sense, you're not anything new. No. We're just becoming conscious that, that all our movements are related to speech and music. Because again, this part is our whole being. And the laws that are in speech and music that this part uh, sings and speaks is in our whole being. Yeah. So your rhythm potentially has, has, the, has, has the task of bringing all movement disciplines together through these beautiful objective laws. Archetypes. Archetypes. Yeah. And instead of uh, be having a fear about inhabiting these lower chakras, these lower centers, yeah. that we're going to somehow wig out and, our, and, our, and get into our, our some kind of weird sexual state, or, or I don't know even what to, what's going on. There's actually think, there, there's more ob objectivity in, in, in the theory and in, in the practicality down below than, than in all of this artistic blathering that keeps going on and on and on and yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. It's, I liken it a bit to, to, if you look at yoga as a discipline, right? Yoga is literally, you know, saving uh, uh, the American culture from, yeah. from collapse because people are, are chilling out, they're connecting with themselves, they're, they're having this beautiful experience of movement and, and, and it's healthy. And there's as many yogas as there are yogis. You see what I'm saying? Because everyone, everyone has their own take on the yoga, right? What's different with Eurythmy? Or what's happening with eurythmy is very similar to yoga, 
is that there's as many different kinds of takes on artistic eurythmy as there is on yoga. But you see, uh, but essentially, eurythmy's task isn't that at all. There's actually, there's a one, there's a common thread that ties all movement disciplines together. And that's these laws of speech and music. Mm -hmm. And so in a sense, we have to really start to think about what eurythmy is. Yeah. And what its task is. Because again, the children in, in Walder schools hate it. They may like the instructor. And, the, and, and, and much of what's being passed off uh, to the parents in the community is that it's good for them. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, mm -hmm. that's, well, it's not good for them if it's not a, a complete whole uh, understanding of it. Yeah. And until we can start doing that, will these kids start to well, they appreciate start... a, 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 a eurythmy lesson? Because then when the instructor comes into the class, he can go, oh, you're doing ballet? Oh, well, let's check out what you do in ballet and let's mm -hmm. see how these, these laws are in your, in your ballet class. Yeah. Oh, you're doing martial arts? Oh, let's see how these laws and these of speech and music are in your are in your martial arts. Yeah, I mean not with the kindergarten children, but no, with the no. Older when ones. They, when it, yeah, there's when a they get after grade five or something like that. Yeah. Or well, the law can happen after the nine year change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already there, but then when they start also coming into their and their, their into their um, into their sexual organs, mm -hmm. you have to give a child responsibility. Oh yes, oh for sure, and they love doing it. and They're very good at it. Right, right. I when mean, you, uh, when they get the chance. Right, uh, Austin Powers had it right. He said, it's all about freedom and responsibility, baby. You see, and so the kids start to have more freedoms. Mm -hmm. We have to start giving them more responsibilities in the right. world, in their class, yes. Yes. and in their, in their community around them. Right. That's, yeah. that's what, because that's what, this starts to, because, you know, those forces that are going into their organism for, um, that have gone to build in their organs and create all that, it gets freed up. Yeah. You know, it gets freed up, and then when they're, and it, it, and it has to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't disappear. Exactly. So now maybe what we can do is have a little break and then we'll go on to the vowels maybe? Sure. Okay, okay. we can do that. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Now what are we going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> so what I found in my biography, and I shared that earlier, yes. and my struggles mm -hmm. with PTSD. Mm -hmm. and, and, and maybe you better say what P P whatever it is because some <laughs> people might not know. Post-traumatic stress Syndrome. disorder. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. PTSD. From from being in the army. I was in the, in, I was in in the, the navy. In in, in in the military, I should say. I was in say. the U.S. military, and mm -hmm. um, so I had all these traumatic things happen to me, which were you know completely off the wall and mm -hmm. crazy. Um, and then, you know, and I was told by the military, you know, you're fine. We're just gonna just send you. And anyway, I, I talked all about that, and really, it kind of set a course for me of. Um, of confusion and um, disharmony yeah. with myself and my surroundings. Um, and then, you know, suddenly I find myself, you know, um, you know, giving birth to, to kids and, and the responsibilities of being a father and, and a husband and, and having a job. And um, so it was very, it was difficult for me to maintain any kind of stability in my life with, with uh, in my life in general. So, um, you know, suicide and depression and, and um, were all living things for me. Um, and I, as I said earlier, I have gravitated towards movement, art, and, and journaling. You're lucky. Yeah, because those things have hel helped me to, to maintain myself to a, to a certain degree, but my the, my life hasn't gotten any easier in a sense that no, um, you know this is cumulative. I, I went I went I lived for like 20, 25 years without any diagnosis and just wondering why everything was so messed up with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And people, you know, and that's what most people end up that are in the military. I mean, I would say probably all of them, and uh, they end up they killing them. Yeah, and, and they all, all they can do is drug them, so, and that right. makes it even worse. So you know, I've, I've been maybe that. it's a good idea for you to tell people how you can work with it and sort of establish a life. Well, I just, yeah, so I was fortunate enough to, to you know, to get by. But as, you know, the more I started to see, the, you know, what was going on with my own discipline and being incredibly uh, disappointed and, and, and crestfallen, so to speak, what's going on with Eurythmy. Mm -hmm. um, it just, yeah, and, and not really finding an audience because I can be incredibly negative and, um, 
and, and aggressive with my, my, my viewpoints, which you know, all comes back to my, my, these traumas and my, my victim consciousness that I've been, I carry around. Um, but you know, finally, uh, the VA has acknowledged that you know, there's been a transgression here and we, we, you know, we acknowledge this. And, and you know, I can now say you know, for the past year and a half, almost two years now, I've been able to just relax I can wake up in the morning because I'm I'm in in work on my art and my journaling and uh, and my um, and movement and healing mm -hmm. on a full time basis. Yeah. yeah. And and I just you That's know what it needs. I can't say enough about it. You know. Yeah. And yeah. the the sad part is that I get a lot of grief from the Social Security Administration about well we want you to go back to work. Yes, and of course then you'd land in the same problem. Well, exactly. I would land up being stressed out and, and, and fighting with my colleagues. And, uh, and that was the reason why I even left, you know, Santa Cruz Waldorf school because, uh, it was just coming more to a head, you know, and I, in relation to my other marriage and my other children that I have, my other child that I have, you know, this mm -hmm. all is, it just, I'm here. I was just going down that path again. Yeah. So yeah. I reached out for help and the VA was, was, um, noble and courageous enough to, to acknowledge that and now mm -hmm. I'm, I struggle with the Social Security Administration who mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know is uh, basically fighting me tooth and nail to to um, you know they want to they want to just say no you need to go back to work yeah and, yeah you know yeah. and then of course uh, um, you get older and you can't get a job anyhow the young ones can't get a job so that's another added problem anyway well, well, the problem was is that, is that the, the resources even that I have from the VA, mm -hmm. you know, is that they want to put me on drugs. Yes. And they want me to do talk therapy. Yeah. And I tried that and I almost killed myself uh, yeah. taking their drugs and yeah. doing the talk therapy. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they, they, they finally, I guess they finally realized that uh, if I could just do art, journaling and, and yeah. keep uh, exploring applied eurythmy, yeah. that's probably the best thing for this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, then you can be helpful to the rest of society because we have literally, what do we have, millions of people who have been at war everywhere? Yeah. yeah. You know, we have to find a way to, to help understand that whole trauma. And I mean, uh, the biggest trauma can be when you have to kill somebody. I mean, it's unbelievable that anybody can be trained to kill somebody else. Yeah. Or, and that's what we do all the time. Or someone's trying to kill you. Yeah. Or somebody's trying to kill you. Yeah, of course. That's what war is, right? Yeah. So, so that's what's beautiful about I can come up here and I can volunteer my time and, with Frank here at the New Form uh, Research okay. Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have, you know, I, I can just I can be here and mm -hmm. and be a, an agent for, for change and yeah. I don't have to stress out about going to work tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Because my, my work is is my therapy now. Yeah. And that's why I don't work. I'm 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 healing. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, because of that you can be helpful to other people just telling your story like we did today. That's right. So that's what we need to do. Well, thank you very much, Dean. Thank you, Marianne. All right. So good morning, Dean. Morning. What are we going to talk about this morning? All right. Uh, we're going to go back to what we were talking about yesterday with the five vowels, the okay. five, the five archetypal vowels. Okay. And I was going to show you how I found how they are um, in the, what I call the five stances. Okay. So there are five archetypal stances. Okay. In our, using our legs. We could, which we don't normally pay that much attention to. Usually in Eurythmia, yeah, not too I much. I mean, because yeah. we kind of just go all over the place and the feet do what they do. That's right, that's right. Not that it is unconscious, but uh, we don't really pay that much attention to it, I think. Yeah. So let's pay some attention to it today. Exactly. Uh, because it goes back to that holistic principle of, of as above, so below. 